how to stop following other people blindly. Now, you may not think that you're following people blindly, but anytime you are adopting something that doesn't feel good or doesn't feel right, you are following the other person blindly. This, I know, may offend some people if they hear it, but if it makes you feel any better, I'll tell you about my personal story just to show you that, you know, I'm not speaking from a place of you're doing this and I've never done this. I never thought of myself as, as somebody who followed other people blindly. I, I always had my own path, but at some level, I was always feeling like something within me was missing. I always felt like there is that missing key, that missing piece, that one thing that's still missing outside of myself, of course, that I was going to get from the next program, the next expert, the next coach, the next whatever. And I'm not talking about just like recent businesses. I'm talking about from the beginning of my career and the very first business I ever started, I always looked at other people and compared myself to other people that I deemed were ahead of me. And of course, made it mean something about myself, of course, because that's what we do when we are moving from a place of trauma is that we think we are lacking in some way and other people are more successful because, because we are not good enough because there's something wrong with us. So that was the mindset I was coming from. And the biggest lesson I learned throughout all these businesses that I started, the biggest thing that I've learned is that I didn't want these people's results. I didn't, I did not want the result that they actually had. I wanted my version of that result. And I sure as hell did not want the journey that they took to their results. Because the thing that we don't talk about enough is that there's not one way that fits all. There are so many ways that you can have the thing that you want, so many ways that you can have the result that you want in your business. But what we tend to do is we look at people that we think are doing better than us and we outsource our inner guidance. We let go of our own feelings, our thoughts, our inner, you know, of course, our intuition. A lot of times we don't listen to it at all. But we just take on all this noise from the outside. And before we know it, we become confused. This is the worst thing about it. It's not that I have a problem with copying. Not at all. If you feel inspired by someone, by all means, please do copy. This is how we do it as human beings. We learn from each other. So copy things that inspire you, try it on, see if it feels good. If it feels good, and the keyword is feeling, if it feels good, then it's probably yours. If it doesn't feel good, cat saying hello, if it doesn't feel good and you continue doing it, then you are following blindly. That's what I was talking about earlier. So, you know, this manifests in many ways, not just in copying, but looking at experts and also looking at entrepreneurs who are... Um, you know, where we want to be, who have the milest achieved the milestones that we want to achieve. And they mention one or two nuggets or one or two things that worked for them. And we jump on that and we go, okay, they did it this way. So that's how I'm going to do it. And I can't tell you how many people reach out to me and say, you know, my whole life, I had to do marketing in a way that felt so bad, felt so icky, but I had to do it because that's what so-and-so told me. Not just marketers, but experts, other entrepreneurs who are successful, everybody, you know, sharing their opinions. And they're not lying to them, right? Just because it works doesn't mean you have to do it. That's the bottom line. Just because something works doesn't mean you have to do it. The issue is when we start to listen to everybody or to multiple people and we neglect our inner voice, it creates this sense of confusion, overwhelm, lack of self-trust. That's the biggest thing. And it erodes our confidence in ourselves ourselves and our inner guidance we start to become paralyzed because there's no way we can copy that person's path 100% that's a given first of all so even if you wanted to copy their methods 100% it's not going to work for you because no two people have the same ingredients you're supposed to mix the ingredients that you have and let me tell you something you already have everything you need to build the thing you want to build. I know it may feel like there is a huge gap, but wherever you are, no matter where you are, I can guarantee you that you already have all the ingredients necessary to take the next step. 
The problem is that we are trying to go from zero to 100, like I was talking about in the video yesterday with self-trust, is we try to go from zero to 100, and that creates this huge gap where we feel like we are not good enough. But you already have within you all the ingredients to move up to the next level if you are willing to give things time and space to be created. So where and how do we learn from other people without losing ourselves? First of all, like I said, feel free to get inspired as much as you want to. If it feels good, try it on. That's what I always like to say. Try it on. You have to practice it yourself. So if you see somebody who speaks in a certain type of way and you're like, you know what? I like their communication style. I'm going to copy that. Go for it. Try it. Does it feel right? Somebody uses, um, you know, I don't know, like a snippet in their marketing and you want to try it in your own marketing materials. Like I've done this in the past. I've seen like a line that I thought, oh, that's really clever. They have this placed in a pl uh, somewhere that I... I thought it was really cool. I tried it and I was like, mm, I don't know, it doesn't feel right for me. Like it doesn't, it just doesn't feel right. So I didn't do it anymore. So keep trying on things, see how they, they feel. Feel free to listen to people that, you know, you admire or who have the results that you want. That's okay. It's okay to ask them how they did it. It's okay to copy them, but it's not okay to outsource your inner guidance or ignore how it feels. And again, I keep going back to the feeling because, because Noobs use their minds, but a true mastermind uses their feelings. So how do you learn from other people without losing yourself? If you're looking for an expert or somebody to learn from, there are three ways that you can learn from them. One is that you can learn principles. I think principles and mental models are the most valuable thing you can learn from somebody. If somebody can teach you how to think, then you can... You can uh, troubleshoot for yourself. You're not constantly relying on them, right? So principles and mental mental models, I think for me at least are some of the most valuable things I, I've learned from the people that I've admired. The second thing is skill. And when I work with people, I don't just tell them what to do. I teach them skills. I think it's important to learn the skill of whatever it is that you're doing to perceive it as a skill because on your entrepreneurial journey, it really is a process of skill building. Everything is a skill. Everything is a habit, including your communication. <clears throat> Pardon me. You think you're, the way you speak is, that's just the way I speak, but it's actually a set of habits, you know, and it's not just a skill. It's a set of habits. We all have habits of communication. We have habits of, in any area that we want to look at, we want to improve, we have habits. And then the last thing you can learn is frameworks. So, Frameworks don't mean that here is the one, two, three process that can never be changed. Frameworks mean here is a general higher level way of doing things and I can customize it to every person. So for example, if you work with me with the Brand Essence Amplifier framework, the framework, generally speaking, starts by reconnecting the person to their soul, to their spirit, to who they really are, to their inner guidance, and then figuring out what the brand essence is, and then looking at marketing. That's the framework. Doesn't mean that every single person is going to go through the same exact um, steps. No, because different people have different needs. But there is a framework that guides things. A lot of people think that, you know, I don't want to use a frame. I don't want to have a process or a framework because it's it's not authentic or it's not, you know, it's... I, again, this is not a jab at other people. And, and I will say the same thing I said at the beginning of the video, just because it works doesn't mean it's right. For some people, you know, just kind of going with the flow and seeing, uh, seeing what happens and whatever and following their intuition the entire time in the program works. For me, that doesn't work and neither does like a strict, rigid process. For me, what works is a balanced approach in every way possible. And this is just one of the ways that I seek balance. So that's it. I just wanted to send this message to you to remind you that the best gift you can give yourself in 2024 and any year, whenever you're watching this, is to cut the cord. Stop thinking that other people have the answer for you. Stop thinking that other people know what you don't know or have something that you don't have. Stop seeking that one thing that's missing out there, the next program, the next course, the next coach, the next mastermind, the next whatever that's going to unlock your life. Not saying don't do these things. By all means, please do. Please take inspirations. Please learn. But don't outsource your inner guidance. Don't stop listening to your feelings because again, a true mastermind uses your feelings. Your feelings are the best way that you can read all of your states of awareness so much faster than your mind can ever comprehend anything. It'll tell you exactly what's going on within you. And if you stop and listen, you have all the answers that you seek. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.